Have you ever found yourself tangled in complex data structures while working with Spark SQL? It can be quite a challenge, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to simplify accessing names of fields in a struct within Spark SQL. I totally get it. Trying to lift fields from a struct to the top level in a data frame can feel like solving a puzzle without all the pieces. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar issues when dealing with nested structures. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I lift the fields of a struct to the top level in a data frame? They provided an example with a case class and a data frame that includes a struct. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together and find a solution. So what's the issue here? When you have a struct in a data frame, accessing its fields directly can be tricky. You need a way to extract those fields and bring them to the top level for easier access. We'll break this down step by step. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a handy utility method that can automate this process for you, making your life a lot easier. To create a utility method that lifts fields from a struct in Spark SQL, the user should start by defining an implicit class that extends the data frame functionality. Next, the user needs to implement a method within this class that takes the name of the struct field as input and returns a list of its nested field names. After defining the method, the user should ensure that it can be called on any data frame. This will allow them to easily lift fields from the specified struct. Finally, the user can test the utility method by calling it on their data frame and printing the results to verify that it works as expected. Fun fact, did you know that Spark SQL can handle petabytes of data? That's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, but with the right tools, it becomes a breeze. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach provided by a user is to use the field names method. They suggest that you can obtain a list of all fields within a struct by accessing the schema of the data frame. If you need a list of columns instead, you can create a map from this list. This method is straightforward and efficient for accessing struct fields. Here's the utility method I promised. You can create an implicit class to extend data frame functionality. This way, you can simply call df.liftb2 to lift the fields automatically. How cool is that? And there you have it. You now know how to lift fields from a struct in Spark SQL and even create a utility method to automate the process. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and keep exploring the world of Spark SQL.